Hey everybody, welcome back to the Garden of Enders. Today we're going to take you along on quite a few little chores that we have, things that need to get done. Um, let me show you. First things first though, we're going to move the pepper plants. We're going to get them off this back fence back here. I'm just not happy with the production of them. Uh, they're not drying out, they're staying moist. It's really been riddled with a lot of disease. And I know it's because they're back here and they're not getting shade. The leaves aren't drying. I'm just having a lot of problems. So I'm going to bring these puppies back to life, uh, get them producing. So anyways, this whole fence here, the tomatoes are going to stay, but all of these pepper plants that are all along here, all the way down, uh, are coming out of here and they're going to go into the center of our um, main garden, our raised bed area. Um, and that will then uh, allow them to get more sun. I will be able to monitor the watering. Uh, this system that I put in was was a great makeshift thing. The problem is is that the tomato plants and everything bind up so well that it's just staying too moist back here and they're not getting uh, the full sun that, that the pepper plants really need. So we'll be right back. We're going to get these moved, show you what that looks like, um, and then we're going to start cleaning up the rest of the garden and take care of some other stuff. So we'll be right back. show you the other thing that we're getting done and so we ripped out all of our broccoli that was here there's some more that's going to come out over there the, the carrots that need to be pulled uh, the lettuce that's bolted um, so some stuff will be coming up and we'll take you along that process but uh, I'm just amending the soil the soil is still great we've only planted in it one year uh, this soil is far from depleted and because it's a two foot um, raised bed there, there's a lot of nutrients still in there but uh, I like to amend and, and just continue to put back in because if you've got healthy dirt, you've got healthy plants. And so uh, what I've done is this is just, I found, I didn't realize Walmart has got earthworm castings. And guys, earthworm castings can get so expensive. These are five bucks for this bag. Normal bags by like, uh, what's the, there's a ladybug uh, brand. Um, they, it's like $10 for a bag this size. So um, this will work great. and. Uh, they only had seven bags, so of course I bought all seven. Um, but uh, it's just a, a sprinkle it in, um, and then I'm just um, kind of scratching it into the top layer a little bit here, um, and working it through. So these seven bags, um, because of the way that I'm working it, uh, I'll be able to make um, this work for my soil. Um, that I have here. Now next, um, at the end of this year, um, in the winter time, uh, I'll put um, fresh compost on it over winter. Um, my son is over there helping, as you can see. Um, Mommy, I did it with you. I see it, Bubba, thank you. So I've already put in a few bags, but wanted to show you kind of what I was doing. Um, why I was doing it just to add a little bit of nutrients back in um, like I said uh, the soil is far from uh, depleted of its nutrients but um, it, it'll help and then I will put a fertilizer in uh, an organic fertilizer to get these started when we plant the Brussels uh, the cauliflower the, the broccoli the cabbage I think we're gonna do all broccoli here uh, hey guys so here's one of our jalapenos and this is just the worst I've ever had any pepper plants looking and um, you know it was a bad mistake to put them on the back fence back here uh, and you can see they're just covered in black um, mud and mildew and moss um, so they just they need a lot of help the soil it, it needs to be amended um, yeah, so it's just staying too moist. Uh, this pot, these are in terracottas. I mean, realistically, these should dry out pretty quickly, but because of where I had them on the fence, in proximity to the rest of the garden, um, I, this plant should be full of jalapenos by now, and I've got one jalapeno on it. 
Um, I mean, there's others coming, don't get me wrong. They're in here, they're just, they're, they're not formed yet. So, it needs work, and uh, that's what we're doing now. Um, I'm kind of mad at myself I let it get to this. But, uh, anyways, this, we won't be putting anything along the fence back here. It worked great last year, but it was, we didn't have the big garden. And uh, it blocked out everything. So, now it's maintenance. It's uh, bringing it back. I will bring these back. You will see by the end of this year um, what what these plants uh, will look like. Uh, they'll, they'll come back. It's just going to be a little bit of a process. Um, but I'm excited. We'll, we'll get them going. We just won't get as many harvests as what we would have uh, off of these. And that's okay. All right, so we've gotten everything done. Um, got the peppers cleaned up. Um, got them into the center of the garden. Uh, this area is cleaned out. Cut another cabbage over there. It's actually right here in front of us. Um, super excited about that. I think we still have a cabbage in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot left uh, to do. It was a lot of work. I scrubbed the pots. They were covered in moss, as you saw. So it took time. I'm going to get these vines um, put up here on both sides and uh, then I'll clean up the other side of the bed. There's a bunch of radishes that need to come up um, so that way it looks like this. And then hopefully this time next week we will go ahead and get everything planted. All of our Brussels sprouts, our cabbage, our broccoli, the whole nine. Um, so that's, that's the plan. And uh, thank you guys as always for checking in with us. Um, like and subscribe um, if you feel like this video helped uh, drop something down in the comments below if you have questions and um, hit that bell icon too as well so you can get uh, notifications when we uh, post new videos so thank you guys so much and uh, have a good night